New at six, new jobs could be on the way to St. Joseph County, and that may mean just the beginning of new development in an area that is right now just cornfields. Yeah, WSBT 22's Kelly Stopsinski is here. And Kelly, you know, a South Bend manufacturing company wants to move because it needs more space. And you've probably driven by this building just a couple times at least. General Sheet Metal Works, you see it right here. It's been at the corner of Main and Calvert Streets for the last 93 years. The problem, though, with this location, they're spread out in four different buildings. There is just no more room in these buildings for equipment and orders because the company continues to grow. Inside General Sheet Metal Works, employees are busy making metal fabricating and stamping parts and assemblies for other companies that use those parts to make bigger products. General Sheet Metal says it's growing by about 9% each year, and it's worked hard to create a culture where people want to work. The manufacturing workforce is, is aging significantly. I think the average age of a tool and die worker in the U.S. is 54 today. For people to be interested in, in manufacturing as a career, we're going to have to create some great places to work. Part of the plan to do that is here. The company recently bought some of this farmland near Olive and Old Cleveland Roads, just south of Tire Rack. We, we really think we're going to raise the bar. Their plan is to invest about $22 million in a brand new facility. It's expected to create 28 new jobs right away, adding to the more than 185 employees already in South Bend. Uh, this is excellent news for the county. Part of General Sheet Metal's expansion may also be the beginning of a new 15-year TIF district in St. Joseph County. TIF stands for Tax Increment Financing. The idea is to capture the property taxes created by new development in a TIF district, then put that money back into the same area. It's generally used as an economic development tool. This is a turnaround as far as I'm concerned. It's a turnaround that we can, we can just hop on and continue to grow, build from this. And General Sheet Metal is also asking the county to issue bonds to pay for infrastructure in the district and let the company buy those bonds. I want to show you now exactly where we're talking about. So this right here, the Indiana Toll Road, right here, US 31 bypass headed north and south. Right here is Olive Street, and then this right here is Old Cleveland Road. Now this area right in here, this is right now is farmland. That's what we're talking about. General Sheet Metal wants to build right here, and it would be called the Northwest Cleveland Road economic development area. The proposal to create this TIF district, though, still needs approval from the county council, commissioners, as well as the area plan commission, but the company wants to break ground in March. I'm Kelly Stopsinski, WSBT 22 News.